Hey YouTube, I just want to make a little video on my my Fortress five gallon air compressor. Um, I got this compressor about a year ago, and um, I shot a video of it. I'm comparing the noise and all that. Check that one out. But um, it recently started um, having a problem, whereas uh, it would fill up and fill up, and it wouldn't shut off, and it would finally um, blow the pressure relief valve. Um, and so I didn't get the extended warranty on it, um, which I probably should have, but I didn't. So, um, I think I figured out what's going on, but let me show you what it's doing here. Let me, let me come around here and I'll turn it on. You can see what it does. <laughs> Okay, so as you heard, it should have shut off around 225 PSI, but it climbed all the way up to probably almost 275 before it finally blew that pressure relief valve. Um, and then I turned the compressor off. So what I, what I think going on is just the, um, the regulator that tells the motor one to cut off, it's not working. So I called Harbor Freight and I ordered a couple new regulators. Now, if you ever got to call and order parts from them, you better have a lot of patience because collectively I probably spent five hours on hold. It's crazy. But this is what the regulator looks like. Now, on a lot of compressors, they're adjustable. Um, this one is not. Uh, let's see if I get it around the right way so you can read it on the camera. So here it says it should shut off at 225 and come back on at 175. So I'm going to tear the compressor apart, install this part, and see if that fixes the problem. Now, disclaimer, I am not a air compressor repairman or anything like that. So I may not do things exactly the way, you know, a repairman would do it. I'm just a guy that tries to fix his own stuff to save a little bit of money. So if you're watching this, you're that kind of guy too. So anyway, let's start tearing into this thing and see what we can find out. All right, first thing we'll do is I'll unplug it. And we're gonna take the, take the tires off. We gotta get these covers off. There's plastic covers on both sides. We're gonna have to probably take this top off and we'll have to take off the instrument panel here so that we can get access to the, the regulators inside of here. So let's uh, get into it here. All right, to start off, I'm gonna take off these wheels. 
I just held on a couple pins here. This top has got one, two, it's got four T30 Torx bolts in here. Go ahead and remove those. Face of it and the top are all the same. It's all one piece. So there's several more bolts over here to get out. So it just pops off here. It took a little bit of messing with it. Now we get that off. Set that up here out of the way. Now this, the housing, I think it's, they're all those same. These bolts on the housing are a T25 Torx. And there's one here that I already got. Two. Just gonna separate these two halves.
stubborn. cover. And this other one. So, on this other cover, right down here, that goes to your power switch. So you got two blacks on top and the two whites on the bottom. So we make sure we, we're gonna disconnect those, but we wanna make note of how they are on there so we put them back the same way. So the two on the right here, I was just wiggle them and they, and they finally popped off. These two on the left have got a hard plastic connector. You can get your screwdriver in and just wiggle and pop those ones off. So now let me turn this around and see what we're, what we're looking at here. So right there, let's get this camera adjusted. That is the switch. That's the regulator. So, and it does, it says it should shut off at 225 and it does not. So 
what we got to do is get that off of there. Let's unplug it. So again, it's got these connectors. They're both white. So one goes to this one here on the left goes to the switch. The other one goes to the motor. Behind here, there's two torques come out. Well, this one will be. I think these are 220. I'll get my drill in there. Yeah, I'll get a screwdriver. Yeah, tell me to make this torque screwdriver. I don't have regular torque drivers. So here we go. Next we gotta get it off so it's got a clamp on here. Let's see if we can get that off without tearing it up. We need to probably need to reuse it. I don't have any more, so let's see if I can get it off of here. gonna take a screwdriver and see if I can widen that up a little bit. This I wasn't expecting. So I pop that off, look at all that crud in there. <clears throat> this compressor's lived on my trailer. I don't, I mean, I just leave it on there, I use it for work. I live in North Carolina, there's a lot of moisture. This thing sucks in a lot of crud. So, looks like it's all caked up. So it may not be bad. It's just that nothing was able to get in there. It's all plugged with mud. I bet I could just clean it out and it would be fine. I'm gonna clean this off, be right back. All right, so took it in the kitchen and cleaned it out, soap and water. Now, that may have, I'm sure that's why it wasn't working. There may very well be absolutely nothing wrong with this. Um, you know, you just take it and clean it out. Maybe if you got, take a compressor and blow that out, you know, let it dry. Um, 
it may be fine. I don't know if, if, if getting it wet and running water in there would mess it up or not. And like I said, I'm not a compressor mechanic. Um, I'm not going to put it back in because I bought two new ones. It took me so long to get through the Harbor Freight that when I had the guy on the phone, it was only a $7 or an $8 part. So I just ordered two of them in case it ever happened again. Um, so anyway, that might have been all the problem was. So if you're having trouble with yours, try this first. Before you waste your time sitting on hold with Harbor Freight for five hours, I would tear it apart, pull this out, and see if yours is, is uh, got a bunch of mud and crud in there too. But anyway, let's put it back together and see if that fixes it. So I got my new one here, my old one. So I'm going to make sure they're the same. They are the same. All right. Let's see. That went like that. Went like that. This one out here. Take it back off. Just gonna put a couple little drops of soap on here, lubricate it a little bit. All right, a couple drops of soap on here. Let's see if that goes on a little bit better now. Went in much better. I'm gonna take my end nips here and I'm gonna pinch this clamp. Tighten it back up. That's how it was. Plug it back in. Okay. Just like that. Put our covers back. Again, remember how your plugs were oriented before. Okay. Make sure 
back on. Get the cover back on. Put our regulator back on. There goes. Put our wheels back on. this fixes it I do love this compressor um, it's a fantastic compressor um, I really don't have any real complaints that part went but there again it might not be the part at all it might have just been I I didn't drain it as well as I should have so I 
it's uh Okay, so we got her all put back together. Let's see what it does. Again, it should shut off now at 225 just like it should all right well i guess that was it if you got any questions hit me up in the comments below um i'll make sure to put the this part number um for this part in the uh, description if you and uh hit that like button subscribe for more videos appreciate it thanks for watching